The Ryan X-13 VertiJet was an experimental vertical takeoff and landing aircraft flown in the United States in the 1950s. The main objective of the project was to demonstrate the ability of a pure jet to vertically take off to maintain steady flight and to transition to horizontal forward flight and to vertically land. The Navy's Bureau of Aeronautics in 1947 awarded Ryan a contract to investigate the development of a vertically launched jet fighter. This was part of a program to evaluate the feasibility of submarine-based aircraft. Ryan conducted remote-controlled vertical takeoff and landing tethered rig tests from 1947 to 1950 and a flying rig in 1951. Ryan was awarded an Air Force contract in 1953 to develop an actual flying jet-powered vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, which was given the designation X-13. Two prototypes were built. The Ryan X-13 VertiJet was 23 feet and 5 inches long. It was just large enough to accommodate the single-place cockpit and the 10,000 pounds of thrust Rolls-Royce turbojet engine. The high-mounted delta wing of the aircraft had a wingspan of only 21 feet. The nose of the aircraft had a hook on the underside and a short pole for gauging distance from the trailer. The hook was used to hang the VertiJet from the vertical trailer bed landing platform. After the aircraft was secured vertically, the trailer was lowered to horizontal and then used to transport the aircraft on the ground. Pitch and yaw control were provided by vectored engine thrust. Roll control was provided by puffer jets mounted outboard of the wingtip. The first prototype was fitted with temporary landing gear and made its first horizontal flight on December 10, 1955. Later it made full horizontal to vertical attitude conversions and back again at altitude. The first prototype then had the landing gear replaced with a tail-mounted framework that held it in a vertical attitude on the ground. The second prototype made a vertical takeoff from the vertically raised trailer transition to horizontal flight and back again. It then returned to the vertical trailer and landed by hooking the landing wire. On July 28, 1957 the X-13 was demonstrated in Washington, D.C. It crossed the Potomac River and landed at the Pentagon. The Air Force chose not to continue development of the Ryan X-13 VertiJet because of the lack of an operational requirement.